Hello guys, my name is Min. Welcome to my channel, Min's English class. Last class, we covered uh, the 19 vowels of English. We learned how they sound and how they look. And we also talked about the difference between each sound and how they all make up the great pronunciation of English. And today, we will talk about consonants. So consonants are the physical, the actual sounds of English that uh, we all want to learn. And there are about 26 sounds uh, produced by English uh, pronunciation. And before we begin, I'd like to uh, talk about uh, an example that I want to elaborate on. Uh, and this will help you understand why it is super important for you to learn uh, the actual uh, how to make uh, each consonant right because as foreigners as foreigner uh, you would have hard time learning how to speak how to say a word out loud because you don't know you have never learned how to say a word properly and you have never learned uh, how each sound is made precisely and let me demonstrate that by using an example uh, the first word the first word is this one b-a-t-h and the second word is this one. And the only difference between these two words are the letter E at the very end. And this is a suffix that makes a noun a verb. So this one makes it into a verb, have a bath. And uh, the first one, the pronunciation is bath. And the second one, the pronunciation is bathe, bathe. Uh, as you can see, there's a very big difference between these two words, but they look almost identical to each other. And the only way for, you, for a non-native speaker to understand the difference between uh, these two sounds uh, is by studying what we call phonetic symbols. And if you look up these words in the dictionary, they will have right next to the uh, word, they'll have a square bracket and on it, it'll have something like this one bath 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 okay and for this one it'll have a phonetic symbol written in square bracket as bathe 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 and these are the consonants that we are concerned with and as you can see the first sounds are exactly the same b b and vowels are different. The first one is nothum and it sounds like e, e, e. Okay? And the second uh, the second sound, the second vowel is uh, is two single uh, vowels combined together. So it's diaphthon and it sounds like a, a, a. So right there the difference begins. The first one is e, the second one is a, a. Huge difference. And last, we have the ending uh, consonants that are entirely different. The first one is the, the first one is f, 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 f. It's actually unvoiced sound uh, that are uh, super popular uh, in English pronunciation. So the first one is bath, 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 bath. Okay? And the next one is actually a voiced sound and it sounds like the, 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 the. Okay, you have to make that constantly uh, buzzing sound. Th. So this one is not d, d, uh, and this one is not t, and it's somewhere in between. Th. Okay, so the first one sounds like bath, and the second one sounds like bathe, bathe. Okay, and only through this way uh, you can precisely learn how to speak each word right. And that is very important because uh, as native speakers of English, most Americans or Canadians or people from uh, British, uh, people from uh, Great Britain will have, will have hard time understanding what you're trying to say because you're saying it all wrong. Okay, and that's uh, I wanted to um, make a point why you should uh, why you should learn uh, how each sound in English is made, and you have to learn it from the right teacher which is me, okay? Uh, 
So that is that, and let's move on to our first uh, set of consonants that, I'm, uh, that, that I want to cover. So the first ones are uh, what we call plosive consonant, and the word plosive means uh, have an impact. So you are, uh, uh, in some way or another, uh, you are, uh, you have air in your mouth and, and you're blocking air uh, at some point and uh, suddenly, all of a sudden, you release it. So you block an airflow with your uh, lip or your tongue or your throat uh, and you make that sound. For example, this one. So uh, in order for you to make that sound, you have to uh, close your mouth uh, and your lips literally have to be touched onto each other. Mm, mm, mm. No air coming out. Mm. And then suddenly you have to make a, a explosive sound by uh, releasing the air. P, p, p. And that's how you would make that sound. And some examples of that would be this one. Pi, 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 pi. Note how my lips are closed and then I open it uh, suddenly to make the air come out and make that sound. P, P. And another example would be uh, this one. Hop, 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 hop. And for this case, uh, you start with another consonant and say the vowel and then you uh, close your mouth and then you make that uh, explosive sound again. All right, and the next sound that I want to do is this one. T, 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 t. Your lips are not closed. Basically, uh, if you look at the side of your mouth, that's your teeth, you're not vampire. There is your tongue, and you have to close your mouth, close uh, the airway using your tongue and the top of your mouth. So literally these two parts need to stick to each other to block the airflow and then open it up uh, to release the air. So okay. So one example of this one is time, time, time. Another example would be when is the when it is the ending syllable uh, would be hot, hot, hot. So uh, just like the case of p hop, uh, the same th the same rule applies here. You need to say those two syllables first, and then uh, you close your mouth and close the airway using your tongue, and then release the air to make the sound of t. Hot, hot, hot. All right. The next sound is this one. D, 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 D. As you can see, your lips are on the middle and they are more relaxed, more on a flat surface. And then uh, you uh, slightly touch the top of your mouth and then open it up gently uh, so that you don't make that. Uh, tough sound. Instead, you make the D, 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 D. You could literally uh, feel the vibration that it makes. D, D, D. All right. And examples would be dog, 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 dog. Or this one. Did, did, did. Excellent example when you want to practice the sound of D, 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 D. All right. And, excuse me. Okay, next up we have the Cut. All right, next up we have the word B, 
B, B. So just like how we did the word P, uh, we close our mouth, the airway using our lips, mm, mm, just like this. Mm. But instead of making that abrupt sound, P, you go very smoothly, slowly. B, 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 okay? And an example would be bag, 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 or even this one, bob, 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 bob. An excellent example if you want to practice the sound of boo, 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 boo. All right. And the next one is this one. Okay. And it sounds like goo. G, g, g. So just like t and d, this one uses our tongue to block the airway and let it open again. Instead, here, our tongues, we use the back of our tongue to close the airway so that our sound is made from the back of our mouth. G, 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 g. G, G, all right? And one example of that would be this one. Go, 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 all right? And another example would be this one. Gig, 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 all right? Excellent example because we have the sound of G to begin with and that's the sound that ends this word as well. Gig, gig, okay? And slightly different, uh, more stressed, k. We have the word k, k. Basic idea is exactly the same. It's just that we uh, we make more explosive sound this time. So uh, using the back of our tongue, we touch the top of our mouth and we make a very uh, sudden opening. So mm, mm, k, k, k. K. But when you go easy on it, you have G, 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 all right? Similar but different. And one example would be the word King, 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 okay? Or uh, we have this one. Excellent example because it starts with the consonant K and ends with it too. So kick, 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 kick. So in this case, your mouth uh, doesn't really change from the initial uh, shape of k because it ends in that exactly the same sound as well. Kick, kick. Uh, our last plosive consonant looks like this one. Oh, isn't that a question mark? No. Uh, we don't have the, the dot in the end, all right? Um, and this one has a very similar mechanism with this sound, t. Uh, however, this one is never sound, okay? And, and it, it's, it's used more as a connecting sound than it uh, is actually uh, sound like any other uh, consonant. Let me give you an example. We have This one. Even though we have this sound uh, in the middle, uh, it is never it is never a sound like the word uh, in this case. T. Uh, it's not football. It's not football. It's football. 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 Right. So the sound of this one is hut, 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 hut. Okay, and. In this case, uh, we do not use our lips, we do not use our tongue, we use our throat here, we use our throat to uh, block the airway. So uh, here is where the sound is made. Okay, so you block your airway using your throat and then uh, make an opening again, make the air come out again, and it'll make a sound that's like hut, 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 
Okay? Uh, so football, football, football. So T is never heard. Football, football. All right. So those are the seven uh, plosive consonants. And let's repeat. The first one was P, P, lips. The second one was T, 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 front of your tongue, T. And the next one was D, the front of your tongue blocking the airway. However, softly, D, D. And the next one is your lip, softly, B, B. And the next one is the back of your tongue, but very softly, G, G, G. And the next one is with stressed, K, K, K. Lastly, it is never sound, HUT, 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 HUT. All right, those are the seven plosive consonants. And let's move on. Fricative, fricative, fricative vowels. And it literally means constant airflow. So you're blowing air out constantly. It never stops with opening in your mouth. So using your lip, using your tongue, or even using your throat, you have to make an opening and you have to constantly blow the air out. All right, let's start. There are nine and the first one is the easiest and it looks like this one huh, 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 huh. okay let me draw the side of our face again here is our nose lips and our front top teeth and here is our lower lip and our chin neck and there is our throat and this is our tongue so we don't use any of these parts we just use this part okay our throat to uh, make that sound okay your lips are open your tongues uh, they they're not touching the top of our mouth um, your uh, airways are fully open and you just let the air out okay and examples would be this one high 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 okay and the next one is this one hit 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 and again this one uh, it can be sound in two ways first you can actually make a sound here hit 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 or you can make it uh, unvoiced hit 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 okay uh, so the first one is pretty simple however the next sets are pretty difficult and I'm going to do two at a time uh, for fricative vowels because they basically have the same mecha mechanisms uh, but slightly different first one we have F, 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 okay? So in order for you to make this sound, you have to uh, close your mouth a little, but not entirely. Uh, you have to uh, make a little opening, small opening, so that uh, your um, top teeth should be uh, nearly, nearly, uh, it should nearly touch the bottom lip. Okay, uh, so like this one, uh huh, uh huh, and then make uh, air blow out. And then make various sounds that contains the word F. For example, this one. Uh, practice without it, and then uh, practice adding the sound of F. And without the sound of F, this one sounds like air 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 and what i mean by that is if you look this word in the dictionary it'll look like uh, f in the in the beginning and uh, you will have i er air okay oh, so like that air 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 and you uh, add f to practice so air 
and fire, fire, ire, fire, fire. Okay, and next example would be this one. It, 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 and then add the sound of F uh, to begin with. Fit, 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 fit. All right. V is same way. Is, uh, it uses the same mechanism. Uh, the only difference is that uh, your uh, teeth has to touch the bottom lip, okay? So like this one, okay? As you can see, uh, my teeth, my frontal teeth is touching my bottom lip, like this. And then you try to make the sound of uh, think of it uh, as you're trying to make a vibration in your lip. Uh, and that's how exactly it should sound. Okay? Uh, and uh, let me give you an example of that. Uh, so just like uh, fire, uh, you practice it uh, without the, front, the, the, the first sound. So this one. Excuse me. So uh, without it, it should sound ein, ein, ein. And when you add the V sound uh, in front of it, it'll sound like vine, vine, vine. Okay? And the next one is a little bit longer, but victory, vic, vic, victory, victory, victory. Okay? And there are many uh, words that use uh, similar uh, similar combinations, for example, Victoria, Vicar, or Victor. Many things, many words use the word, use the consonants V. All right, and let's move on to the next one. We have. Okay, and now you are uh, now you are thinking, what the heck are those? Uh, let me show you how to write uh, these two symbols again. The first one, we do a uh, we do a circle and then and go to the middle like that. All right, okay. And the next one is we do uh, six ish six ish shape and then we put a line just like that. Okay. So the first one uh, has a very similar sound with s. Okay, uh, but it's not S, okay? It sounds like Okay, and the second one actually has a sound and it sounds almost like D, D. However, instead we have to constantly keep the air out, right? So it sounds like So just like we make that vibration again, but in different part of our mouth. Uh, let's take a look here. Over here, we have our mouth again. So uh, this time, point your tongue, the, the tip of your tongue, to touch the back of your front teeth, just like that, okay? Uh, 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 like that. Practice it, okay? And then uh, for this one, make a sound uh, and just make the air go through uh, the, the gaps between uh, your teeth and the tongue, okay? So just like blow the air out through those gaps. For this one, for the second one, uh, make, uh, actually make a sound, uh, make a vibration. Okay? It sounds ridiculous, but when you combine them with um, the other parts of vowels and other consonants, uh, they, will more, uh, they will sound more promising. Let me give you an example. The first one is well, this one. Excuse me, this one. Uh, and if you look in the dictionary, it looks like this. Okay, in, 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 without the, without the consonant. And uh, try to make that uh, mouse position again, uh, uh, and then make that sound, thin, 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 okay? And the second one is this one. 
this. No, it's not this. It has to come from the same mouse position. And make that vibration again. Uh, but first, practice it without the consonant. And it looks like uh, this uh, in the dictionary. So practice it with this. Uh, and it's is, 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 is. Now add that consonant sound, this, this, this. Okay, this, this. Okay, let me give you another example uh, so you can practice more. The word is this one. Uh, and we use this word a lot when we want to throw something, right? Throw, 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 throw. And the first one is uh, this one. And it doesn't make any sound. So make that uh, mouth shape again. Uh, uh, and uh, do the rest. Throw, throw, okay? And another example of this one would be this one, okay? Uh, and if you look this up in the dictionary, uh, it'll look like this. So the first one is this, and the second one is a, a, open your mouth wider, and then you have this one, okay? Uh, so that, that that, 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 that. And the next ones are S and she, okay? Uh, and this one is just typical S, uh, shorter. Uh, however, you have to make it longer, like when you're trying to draw a worm, okay? Uh, so this one is S, -s but this one is The shape is different, okay? Uh, for this one, you have to make your mouth uh, in a circular shape. Shh. However, for this one, you just have to open your mouth slightly and your tongue flat but toward the top of your mouth and make a slight opening. Slight opening so that the air uh, passes through and make that air sound uh, slightly and it's So that's the sound of S, okay? And let me give you an example, this one. Uh, without it, it's O, and with uh, the consonant, it'll sound like so, 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 okay? And uh, another example would be this one. And if you look up the dictionary, it'll have a very long E sound. So it's E and with the consonant, it sounds like C, 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 okay? And next one is she, 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 she. An example would be this one. Show, 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 show. Notice the difference between the shape of our, uh, shape of my mouth. Uh, when I try to make this one, so, so, when I try to make this one, show, show, okay? And another example would be this one. So this example was sheet, 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 all right? Uh, finally, the last three consonants, uh, the fricative consonants are, uh, they all make the same sound, so uh, they all make the very similar sounds. So uh, mm, I wanted to cover them at the very end. The first one looks like this one. All right. And uh, the next one looks like this. It's not number three. It's flat on the top. And lastly, we have this one. So basically, we are writing D uh, in the beginning and adding this one, but uh, to the lower end. If I repeat that, I write D and about here, uh, we write uh, this symbol. Uh, and the reason is that uh, this sound is a combination of D and this sound, okay?
So let's go. The first one is Z, Z, Z. And uh, we make our mouth uh, similarly to this one, S. S however, we have to uh, we have the we have to narrow the airway a little bit more so that we have to make a vibration out of that. Uh -huh. So uh, if I look the side of our uh, mouth again, mm, our mouth is closed a little bit, and here we have our tongue almost, almost touching the top of our mouth so that um, as we blow out our air, uh, it'll make a vibration, so buzzing sound. So instead of saying S -s -s, you're trying to make it narrower and uh, this is what it'll sound. Z -z. So just like buzzing sound of a bee. Z -z. Okay, and one example of that is Uh, last one. It's a big word. It means heaven uh, in the book of Bible. And it sounds like Zion, Zion, Za, Ian, Zion. And another example of this one is uh, the number zero, Z, Ro, zero, Z. All right. And the next example is uh, rarely. Uh, we we get to see this on the front of, on the beginning of the on the beginning of a word. Uh, more often, this is a sound that happens in the middle of a middle of a two or more syllable words. For example, like this one. Uh, raisin, 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 and if you look up the dictionary, it looks like ray and zin. Raisin, raisin. Another example is this one. Reason, 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 jin, jin. Okay? Raisin, jin, jin. And if you look up the dictionary, it looks like re and zin. Reason, reason, reason. Okay? So they are different. The first one is z, z, z. And the next one is j, 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 j. Do. You have to sound, you have to make an actual sound uh, as opposed to just blowing out a uh, vibration of air. Last one is super important because it is one of the most, uh, most heard English pronunciation. And uh, this one sounds like j, j, g, g, j, j. All right? And here we have the word Jason, Jason, Jason. It's not Jason, but it's Jason. You have to make your mouth a little bit circular, just like how you uh, pronounce this one, she, okay? G, G, okay? Jason. And the same thing goes for this example. It's not just, it's just 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 and if you look it up this word in the dictionary it looks like and then you have this just 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 j all right so these are the nine fricative consonants uh, that are super important in english pronunciation let me uh, give a quick review the first one was just simple airway using your throat <sighs> The next one was using your lip. And the next one was this one, using, using your lip but make a vibration. Okay? And the next one was you have to, uh, you have to uh, make, a, make your tongue touch the back of your front teeth, just like this. Your tongue out. And then go like. just the air out. And the next one, another vibration, but using the same mouth shape. And this one, just the air. This one, your mouth circular. And the next one is 
z buzzing sound z z and the next one is actual sound of g g g g okay and lastly we have j g j j and that's it for our nine fricative uh, consonant okay all right we are more than halfway through and next we have what we call affricate affricate which basically means a uh, combination of uh, air and blockage Block is a bear. So we start with block is a bear and then we constantly let air out. And there's only one uh, anything that has CH uh, in it, uh, the, the alphabet combination of CH in it makes the sound of this one. So it's the consonant T with the addition of she. So T and she, when they are combined together, they make chi, chi, che, chi. Okay. So first, you start with T or she uh, in the beginning, uh, in the uh, uh, combined together. So you make that sound of chi, chi, chi. Okay. Using your uh, middle of your tongue, you make a blockage of air. Uh, and then you constantly blow the air out. Okay? And uh, an example would be this one. Chair, chair, chair. Or we have the word, this one. Uh, perch, perch, perch. All right. And that's it for affricate. And the next ones are what we call nasal, nasal. And as the, as the name indicate, the sounds are made using, uh, using the tunnel uh, that's connected uh, through your nose to your mouth, okay? So um, let me draw the, the side image of our uh, head again here uh, that's our nose and there's an opening and it leads all the way to our throat right so we make a sound right there mm, mm. okay uh, so those are the nasal sounds and there are only three of them the first one is the first one is this one mm. Mu, mm, mu, right? And the second one is this one, n mm, or nu, n mm, or nu, 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 nu. Okay. And lastly, we have this one. Okay. Uh, they kind of look close to each other, but uh, this one has a hook on the bottom. So let's begin with this one. Uh, this one has two sounds, one in the beginning, one at the very end, okay? Uh, when we have the consonant uh, M in the beginning of a word, it makes mu, mu. Your lips have to be, your lips have to be closed, and then you make an opening and make that sound in your nasal tunnel. Mu, mu, mi, mi, me, mo, all right? So you have... Uh, this one as an example me me and you have this one bum 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 clearly there's a vibration uh, happening in your nasal tunnel okay mm. and this one me and the next one we have uh, n n and when it's placed in the beginning it makes this sound nice 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 your lips are open but uh, using uh, your tongue you close it and make an opening again na na 
na, but the sound is made uh, in your nose. And when N is placed at the very end, uh, it makes sound like uh, this one. Bone, 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 un, in, on. All right, let's move on. This one uh, only uh, happens at the very end of a word. For example, like this one. Ring, ring, ing, 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 ing. Okay, so here we will have the, the sound of ng as our final nasal sound. So these are the four uh, nasal and affricate consonants that, uh, uh, that we are learning today. Okay, let's move on to our final sets of consonants. Whew, we're almost there, we're almost there. Okay, uh, the final sets we have five, uh, five consonants. We are down to five and they are called approximate. Approximate approximate sounds. Uh -huh. And what they mean are we partially block the air, uh, so not entirely, uh, we partially block the air flow. And I'll give you an example. The first one is this one, W, W, okay? And when it is used as a consonant, uh, we partially block our mouth and let the air out. For example, in this one. So if you look up the dictionary, uh, the phonetic symbols look like W, ein, ein, ein. But if you combine the, the approximate consonant W in front of it, it becomes wine, 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 wine. So uh, your lips look like this, very narrow, but uh, uh, there is a little, a slightly, uh, there is a visible opening. Uh -huh. you're, you're almost blocking uh, the airway by uh, letting that small air coming out uh, using making that uh, mouth shape mm, mm, like that and make the sound of wine, wine, when, when, where. All right. The next one uh, I want to cover is uh, this one. Okay. Uh, so this one is not J. This one is not J. Uh, and we always use this uh, with another vowel sound. Another vowel sound. Uh, for example, uh, in this case, in this case, uh, it becomes yes. 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 We are bending the vowel sound a little bit. Yes. 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 Okay. E. E. Yes. Okay. Oh, so anything with the English space, English letter Y, uh, tend to make the sound of J, uh, which is an approximate uh, consonant. Uh -huh. Another is here. And if you look at the phonetic symbols, it's and it becomes yellow yellow and without the j sound it'll be elo 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 but with this one bending the a sound it becomes yellow yellow all right and so anytime every time you see this j symbol in the phonetic symbols you have to bend the the, the vowel sound that follows right after so for example uh, another example would be this one not o o, not o o. Instead, it becomes yo yo, yo yo, yo yo. All right. And the another example of this one is the sound of r, 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 r. First, your mouth is open. Ah. Uh, however, use your tongue to slightly uh, close your mouth. R, r. Or your lips literally has to uh, touch the top of your mouth. Or, or, all right. And uh, you make sounds like these ones. Ring, 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 ring. Okay. And you make another sound of this one. Red, 
red, red, red, okay? Red. And the next uh, approximate sound is uh, this one. L, L, L. And this one has two sounds, therefore we have two approximate consonants. One is this one, another one is this one. Uh -huh. And the only difference is that this one sounds at the very end, and this one sounds uh, in the beginning. Okay? For example, uh, this one. So at first, you have to make a shape of your mouth that is open, like this. Uh, 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 and using your tongue, uh, you touch the top of your mouth and quickly go down to the bottom. So, le, 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 le. Okay? So, you have to use your tongue uh, and drastically. And so, if I draw that into a picture, image, uh, you use your tongue to block the air and then quickly you let it drop okay so le 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 right different very different r ra ra this one la 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 if your mouth is wide open enough then um, the other people can actually see uh, your tongue movement which comes from um, top to bottom this one, however, uh, is the, the ending sound, for example, in this way. Here, here. Uh, this L sound uh, automatically makes the, the entire vowel long, okay? So without this one, it'll be mick, 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 mick. But uh, since we have this one, it becomes milk, milk milk and the best way to practice saying this word uh, is just practice saying the word l l l l and you are saying that word saying that sound uh, to every uh, everything that you uh, everywhere that you uh, that ends with the the consonant l for example with this one world mill Bill, Jill, Silk, and even this one, Girl, 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 Girl. And that's why this and this are two most difficult uh, English sounds for uh, non-native speakers because they first have to understand how R sound and also understand how L sounds at the end of a word. Uh -huh. So you basically have two uh, ending words combined together. R and L, R, L, R, L. And you have girl, 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 All right? Those are the 26 consonants in English pronunciation. And before we go away, finally, let me give you a review of this one. The first approximate uh, consonant that we have is W, which sounds like we, wa, wa, right? The next one is J, but it doesn't sound like J, it sounds more like we, ye, yo, all right? Uh, not we, okay? Uh, I made a mistake. It's yo, ye, and ya, okay? Yard. And the next one we have r, r, or, re, re, ro, all right? The next one we have l, which sounds like le, li, la, lo, and then we have uh, the unvoiced uh, sound that ends with l, milk, world, mill, bill, and lastly, girl. Thank you so much for listening to my very long lecture today. Uh, so uh, with our 19 vowels and today's 26 consonants, we now mastered the English pronunciation. And now all you need to do is to practice practice saying out those words and my voice is almost cracking and thank you so much for watching my video and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and set an alarm so you know when my next video is on thank you bye bye